Hello, friends. How's everybody doing? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate General Civil War the JP T10 Tus mod. Okay, so we are in the North Union uh, campaign, and we're right before Ant Edom, and this is the first core. This is the second core. This is the third core. And we're all just one stars. And then in this core, we have some rookies. And the next battle is really, really tough. And I'll just show you my armory while we're here. Skirmishers. Like, I could make some more units, but you know what I mean? I don't know if I should, so I'm just not going to. I mean, I got money. I could do it, you know, and I have personnel. But we have no veterans. So the barracks looks like this. So we do have officers. And career-wise, this is where we're at. Now, I've already done this battle. Like, um, I, I tried it, like, four times and on the fifth time I won but I didn't like the result and I'll explain that in just a moment when I start it and we have 55,000 for supply that's about all that I can talk about so here it is and you can see that their army is 103k on the highest side and they're pretty high on training they're 52% 50, they're and their armory is not that great. Um, minus five army and army size, minus two and a half, minus two and a half. So we've got a minus ten on their army size of whatever will be in this. But I'm going to tell you it's going to be really difficult, and I'm going to tell you the reason why. Is because Johnny and Panda uh, made the first phase for the CSA that all their units are doubled for the first phase like a hundred percent double and that and, and if you don't know what a double is or a duplicate is it's 50 to 70 percent of their HP of the original unit so if a unit is say 11 uh, like a 10 like a thousand it gets busted into two 500s however there's a 50 to 70 percent chance that they'll be bigger with HP so you know give or take you know they could be 600 each or 720 each or something you know and and like I'm saying that that complicates things like severely so anyways um, what we're gonna do here is I think this one is the one that's got the 1400 units so they're gonna go there and, and I only have like the majority of, of them all are just one star and and I can't go I can't fight good against these two star units I mean they they are very very strong so now um should I so this one here like here and here like yeah I don't even no, uh, you know, like, whatever. Okay, so let me put my guy here. And I guess I'll put him here. And I guess I'll put him here. And maybe I should have upped this, because I, I am going to need a ton for this phase over here. Like, I am not kidding. Now, it shows... Like, I tried this with 60,000, and it didn't work. And it says I got 71,000, but I, I, I don't even know if that... How, can, how accurate can that be? I don't know. But they got 44, but then again, this never really matches up once we're in the battle, because that's when the scale and hits. So, yeah, I don't know. But enough, enough yakking. Let's get into it. And then it's going to show a lot of this, and we're just going to skip it. And we're going to skip it, and here we are. And so, yeah, each one of these units are. Now, 
I'll, I'll give you a slight brief too. Um, they got a line right here, and then this is all doubled in because every, like I said, every unit that you see in this section here has been duplicated. And that means they can cover the whole, they, they cover from here, and even have a skirmisher over here. Um, they, they cover this whole thing. They even put an infantry over here, and then they have the two calves, and then those double to four calf and stuff. And if you split your forces either end or even right here and here, um, they are so strong, and even when they get reinforcements, it just goes crazy, like like um, twice over here, uh, and I did it twice over here. I did not try to do it from here, so you know, I mean, I don't know if I could, because the idea, because oh, here's what I'm gonna say, and and this is what I'm thinking though, but um, I don't know if it would be good to try it from here, because. When I get the guys from the bridges, they can't link up with us. And they're not going to be strong enough to fight them, like in this section over here. So so, so me even just going right here and then come right into these woods to, to get action with them. Because um, when you're over here, they go crazy. Um, when, when, when I'm over here, they go crazy. But... Yeah, I'm thinking that that's the only play. I mean, I really do. I, I, I don't know. Because what you have to do in order to beat this, just this one phase here, is you have to have combined forces. You cannot separate your forces. They are not strong enough. Because wherever the AI sees you, right, um, what they're going to do is is charge you and then... When their two star units come at you, <laughs> they they can blow through these guys and get to the second line. I mean, it is incredible. But enough said. We will go ahead and start. I mean, that's about all that I can tell you. And if I go like this and I go save, I go, you know, BG North, and I think this is Battle uh, 17. And I'm going to say Battle 17, um, I'm going to do a 1, or, or no, I'm going to do a 2, because this is my second, you know, this would be a second go at it. And then I'm going to say Start, okay? Because you can see there that there's 19 below there. I've done two battles, Pass and Edom. But again, um, I want to see if I can do better. So I did win uh, coming this way, but it was ugly. I lost over 30,000. of. I lost half my force. And, of course, if you look here, um, they don't care about that. They only care that you get these three things, um, you know. And so that is it. And so, therefore, uh, and again... You know, this isn't really going to do me any good uh, making skirmishers because if one of their two-star units charges, like if I, because um, I'll tell you, I had four skirmishers over here, and and these guys are only 134 to start with. And one of them came over here, it was a two-star unit, and he charged them, and he wiped out all four units. and I, So I lost 134 times four. And then once you, then you're not going to be able to break anybody else off and stuff. So if these guys get down to 130, you can reassign them and then break them off later on again, as long as you're not in contact. Because see, the way Pandar and Johnny made this, um, well, as I talk, I should I should at least uh, be moving uh, to to here. But uh, you guys have got to come this way. I mean, nobody goes over there. Okay, so yeah, so I, I don't want to lose my train of thought, but um, anyway, so, you know, I, and, I, and I talked to Pandra about this also, and he said, yeah, um, they doubled every single unit on this first phase, but he said they didn't double the reinforcements, 
and he said, the last uh, reinforcements, the six units that they get, they, they double those, he said. So if you see any unit that the AI has with a BDE, you know they've been doubled. Or, or no, it's the, the proper term is split. They've been split. But again, a split is whatever the original unit is, and then 50 to 70 percent of a random factor that they can gain more troops in each of those units that got split. So yeah, so these guys are going to move faster than the the parent units. So um, again, we're all gonna we're just gonna pull over here for a moment. Because if we go anywhere near there, you ain't going to believe how they come here. Like, it is incredible. And of course, I'm going to need the gun. And I don't even, in the third core, I do not have the best guns. And you would think that I would put in a best one, but I don't want to. Because I don't want to lose, uh, like my first core is my best units, but I don't want to lose them. If these guys die, they're lower stats, and so I can replace them easier. And it's their and, and it's these guys' job to um, get training, you know, like get get you know experience in the in the battle and stuff like that. And so now, okay, so now let me let me try to make make a line here in the back here before they really see us and because I even thought like I said um, like I don't know like I said if I take the guys and go here I mean they're right here and they're all along here and here and they're full in here and right in here and, and I, they, I know they got a skirmish right hiding over here he ain't coming at us yet but once they spot us, then then their whole they're gonna peel off. They have so they have double units of what they would normally have. They have double the units with a 50 and 70 percent chance of being higher than the original unit uh, that was broken off. You know whatever. So I mean, so all I, all I'm trying to say is um, I gotta try to conserve my force. So if yeah, see, look at their calf is already okay. So here's the thing, right? They realize that we're not over here because I could care less about that flag. That flag is no longer any has any importance. And so, what we're trying to do is get in here because they know we're here. Look at so see all the BDEs. They all been doubled. So they were six hundred. So if you see any cavalry that is more than 300, you know that one got the 70 the 70 percent chance of being, you know, good. And so, again, this is my combined force of all the units that we can have. Now we're supposed to get about six more, I think, and stuff. And so all I want my, uh, uh, what I want my guys to do is get into here because we've we've got to get a good line of uh, a good defensive line because once they're infantry gob yeah see like he's got 321 so he gained a little bit better than 50 percent okay after him after him after him okay so they decided they wanted to attack us so it's okay okay you get over there but we got to get in here and, and have a couple lines of infantry along with skirmishes otherwise because once they go crazy come on I gotta, I gotta make sure I get some infantry in here 
And this gun, matter of fact, ain't gonna do me any good there. Um, he, he, the gun probably has to go up here. I mean, the gun might do, might do okay if, but I'm the one that has to get into here, and uh, he wants to charge us. Notice. Yeah, look, he's got some two-star cav too. Okay, so so while this is going on, I mean, there's nothing else that I can do at the moment. But I want these guys to to pan. Uh, I guess the term would be to pan out a little bit. So, so nobody's blocking anybody else from shooting. Oh, okay, cavalry over here. Okay, so yeah, the other units got here. So I'm gonna give them individual orders. I'm going to give them individual orders to get here, and while that's going on, the cab keeps probing us. And I need that gun. I got to get this gun. Because there's no way, I will tell you this, there is no way that you want to split up your forces on this. There is absolutely no way. They are, they are, they, okay, now those four cavalry were here with an infantry unit. And they realize I'm not here, and now notice the cavalry's probing us here. And now they have a unit right here. Okay, and what, I, what I'm trying to do right at the moment is to create a couple lines. Because if I don't have a couple lines, when they do chat, yep, here he comes, see, I knew it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Fall back. Fall back. And this guy's only a one star unit. Fall back. And this is what's gonna happen now. I gotta charge two units into him. And then these two are gonna get exhausted. And that's how they keep wearing us down. I even have... And this would be the only guy um, that we would have a chance of actually capturing, but I would have to send in more people to stop to do it. This was my only chance to get him, and I can't. Because here comes the second one now, right? Oh, but what's good is he, he dissolved. Okay, so now fall back. Fall back everybody shoot him now this guy's a two-star unit see and then this is again I got it I gotta tell him the charge I gotta tell him the charge I gotta tell him to charge because this guy will keep coming I'll even have my cab go in I have no choice because he's a two-star unit this guy will go all the way to the gun Matter of fact we already lost a little on the gun The only thing that is good about this, and yeah, the cab finished him off.
Okay, so it's good that we got one. We have to make sure that Cav doesn't try to get him back. So I'm moving these guys a little bit to shoot at their Cav so it doesn't make their Cav want to charge us. Because otherwise they'll get this guy, so... Alright, and now what I'm going to do here is, each one is shooting at a different cab. This gun is going to shoot at him, I guess. He's shooting at him. You see, there, see how their units are coming now? Like, they, they're all going to pile up here and then they're going to charge us. And I, and I got to get all these guys over here to help out. Because if I don't... Because, uh, 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 like I said, you see how they did that, right? I'm just showing you now. Let's see what this guy had. He had just a Springfield 42 and stuff. And, and while we're doing this, we've got to try to figure out who is... Who has good condition. So, hold... Hold. All right, we're going to try to make a line here. And and like I said, our goal here is to not go. If we were here, um, they would be like they will charge like crazy. So right now, and I'm going to tell you what the cavalry is doing. Okay now think okay now I gotta get ready because they, they look like they're getting ready to charge again. Hold. Hold. Okay, you get like this. And I ha I have three over here. Along with these guys. See? Like I said, this is how they do it. They're, they're bringing units over from, and like I said, I don't think they need that infantry that was over here, so he's come over. And then whatever they had here, they had a full line here, so maybe some of them will come over. Because they realize I'm not going for that flag. And this is why... Now right now... And, and, the, and the problem with these guns, okay, now this gun is okay because this is the, um, the siege weapon. So that can hit stuff at long distance, but this other gun I got, I forget what it is. Oh, it's the Norton, it's the, not the, I call it Norton, like Norton's antivirus. I mean, it's the Napoleon, sorry. <laughs> But, okay, so, yep, yeah, alright, now, fall back, fall back, see, he won't fall back, it, I didn't get him in time. So now I have to commit my skirmishers. Now, if he's meleeing, everybody here should be able to shoot at him, but watch how this guy will keep going into us. He'll keep going in, so if I had a gun here, he would, he would, if he blows through these other infantry units, and this is where my, my poor, my skirmishers are going to get gobbled up here. He's a two-star unit. And this is okay, because it's only him here, but when those others decide... This is how they break our line. So I'm going to get another guy right over here.
Okay, guys. Back out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna tell that guy to get out of here. Alright, so we have one hour, and uh, like I said, you know, you might think that this is not bad, but it, but like I said, they've, they've got doubled units, and then they're gonna get reinforcements. And, and I'm just gonna tell you, it'd be a lot worse if I was in these woods right here. They, they just, because they have these guys here, plus they keep coming and stuff. So by, by keeping a little distance... Alright, so I'm going to get this guy that just got here. He's going to go here. And the other thing too is all their guns will be shooting at us and that's why we wanted to be in the woods. And we do want contact with them because, you know, we do want this. Like I did, I think one of them, you know, disbanded and one of them I captured. It's, and I, I think I sent him out. I, I, I'm hoping that he got out. So what I'm going to do is try to get... Uh, yeah, see, every time they want to charge. to do this because again if I don't he'll just keep pushing all the way up to the gun okay stop 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 fall back fall back I know you want to charge I know I know I know but I think you guys ought to just relax Got to get these just right, so that way... This one, this one. Yeah, and if you can see this bar right here, you can see... We've already lost a thousand. And, and and this and like I said, what what happens is you know because once these guys go zero on their um, condition, they're they're worthless. And and that's the problem that we have is that they do it. And so the one thing I wanted to mention, so while it does uh, until they build up for their next attack, uh, the, and he's in place now, so I got to get him in the woods just right. I got him. In fact, he should go off like that a little bit, and then this guy can come back a little. This guy's small enough, so he's going to go attach. He's going to go attach. Yeah, see now, here comes this guy. First BDE. Well, but he's wavering a little bit, but notice how he's, he's coming in, getting ready. It's weird. But I would just tell you, so... Normally, on a UI mod, you can come down here, take this, kill the two cav kill one skirmisher, come over here into the woods, and then come all the way here and get this real easy. So UI mod is like the base game, you can do it. But in this JP T10, um, that's no longer the case. So if you even were here, the 4 cav just keeps probing you like what they probed us right over here. Um, they keep probing you, they come in, they shoot, they back off, they shoot, they and, and because it's four of them, 
it's easy for them to do that. And then your guys can't even shoot them because they're already they're already withdrawing. All right, so we got an hour to go, so I'm gonna have these two shooting at him. And like I said, I'm afraid to move the gun. We've already lost five, plus their guns will shoot the, it if they see it. But I got the siege weapon. So the siege weapon, like, I, I don't know, like, like, can he, like, would it be good to shoot that guy, maybe? I don't know, let's see. He's a two-star unit. I'll have the siege shoot him. Let's see, he's at 923. Yeah, so if you look at that, he's at 923. He must have got the 70% extra or whatever, the 20% the the extra from 50 to 70. Alright, so we have two guys and guns, Springfield 42. So the, these are not really... And he's got the reboard. Um... So again, like I said, the third core is not my is my my third, you know, core that's worse than my second core or my first core. But like I said, these guys have got to get experience, and if they if they keep like right now, I think it's okay. So here's what I'm going. I'm preserving my force, right? So this is what I'm showing you. Because if you take if you take this line right here. Um, you would get so many charges that it would push you guys back to here. And, and just think, I've got my first units and I got the second units that were here. That's all we get this phase. Is This is all we have. And so... And so by just holding him here... I'm just trying to prepare then this guy this guy's f fully rested and he's 14 so I'm thinking I'm wondering if I should put him right here Maybe I could put the siege right there. And you know, I probably should have the cav over here, maybe. And my general. Oh, and of course the ammo. But yeah. Like, there is no way that I want to. Because I'm telling you. I've done this four times. Two times over here. And and two time and this is my third time being over here. Hood's division spotted. Yep. And so they just got another boost in personnel. And what's going to happen is this is where all the big charges are going to come from. So my my skirmishes, I think, should go backwards. And I think this guy needs to get here. And this guy needs to get here. Because I'm going to need... A couple lines of infantry. Because, yeah, look at these two are covered. And they're not, and, and like, like, like Panda said, the reinforcements that come in shouldn't be uh, split. It's only the last reinforcements that the CSA gets. 
so these two are coming in so they're they're gonna charge and so then this guy needs to get moving this skirmisher over here and this one over here as soon as they pass these guys they're gonna come at us now and I might have to charge in do a counter charge into them and that's why I don't know where my cab should be it's the cat the cab is gonna have to make the difference and this isn't even like I didn't even yeah the cab has this so they're not really a melee cab but you know and he's my two-star unit and here they come here they come here they come Okay, ready? Alright, I'll commit the cav. This is going to get really ugly really fast. Look at here they all come. have to move these guys in now My last line has to hold. My last line has to hold. gotta hold we have to hold why he's right there you should be able to shoot him shoot him you shoot him yeah I have okay so these two Okay, so now what we gotta do is prepare for this guy that's coming at us. And we'll see what we can do. Yeah. 
Yep, and here they come again. But like I said, everybody should be able to shoot at this guy. Okay, it's not worth us being over here uh, because we're getting shot at. Oh, and my poor Cav over here hiding. Yeah, this won't, as a matter of fact, it's only 15 minutes, so I gotta get the Cav away from here that he's gonna get killed. Because they're gonna have a whole line right here. So yeah. Okay, and again all we're doing is trying to conserve a little bit. Oh, is he gonna he is he charging somebody's charging again? See, the closer you get to this line, the more charging you're gonna get. And this guy, this guy's tired, so I gotta tell him to drop that. He's tired, it's so a fall back. Keep falling back, you are tired. Now shoot him, okay? Now you should be able to shoot him. And now both guns are gonna shoot him. There, he, he gave up. Go out. Okay. Okay, let's put the both guns on him. He's coming in. He's coming in. I mean, I got the guns. I've got everybody shooting at him. Okay, there. Yeah. Okay, we see we see a uh, stock coming at us. He's a BDE, so he's the original units that were here. That and he's 900, so they he definitely got the 70 percent. This guy's tired.
Now see, okay, there, okay, so, all right, folks, uh, this is where the uh, video uh, will stop, okay? Um, I mean, I'll end this video right here. I mean, I, I survived the initial uh, phase, um, but, like I said, once this opens up, I can I can tell you how it's gonna go. I mean I mean I sh I should I should at least acknowledge this, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So they're saying that we're gonna get more reinforcements, but and then this whole map opens up. The town doesn't open up, but just this part opens up. You can see that. I'll, I'll just show you that. And. Um, and they they're gonna get reinforcements this way, um, and like I said, in the and and it'll probably be the third part. Like this part, this is probably this is gonna be broken up into th three parts. This is the first part. Um, but what I'm saying is, uh, what Panda told me was the last the, when they, when they get their last reinforcements for this whole battle, those are the ones that are gonna have splits. But um, if I have, you know, that's all I can say. So, okay, so I'm just going to show you this. And uh, you can see this flag here. I have to get this flag, this flag, and the town before this battle ends. But this is the end of the first phase. And we already know that we, we, we disbanded one of their units, and we know that we captured, this is the second one that we captured. And so I'm just going to send him off that way. So that was really nice. Um, this guy, what did he have? Oh, look, at he has the MJG. So that is really nice. Um, and look, it, yeah, see, and he was a 1,000. He came in at a 1,000. So, yeah, we. it, it is good that we uh, got him. So MJGs, uh, uh, I, I will use that weapon. But anyways, okay, so um again he's steady and and uh I'm going to I have to end the video here and then I have to save the game and and then I'll I'll uh I'll I'll start it up again. But right now as you can see, we don't have any reinforcements and they're going to be in their little uh, charge mode. And so you can see how my guys are right now. Just remember that, but that's the way it'll be. So, okay, so no matter where you are in the world, I hope you have a great day, great afternoon, great evening. Please take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.